Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about how to create Azure Data Factory data flow. Mapping data flows in Azure Data Factory provide a way to transform data at scale without any coding required. We can design a data transformation job in the data flow designer by constructing a series of transformations. We can start with any number of source transformations followed by a data transformation steps. We can complete our data flow with sync to land our results in a destination. So I will do this activity using Azure portal. I am in the Azure portal now. I have data factory ready. I have SQL database and storage account ready. So I will copy data from SQL database to storage account using data factory data flow using data flow activity. So before that, I will go to source and see what kind of data we are copying from source to block storage. I will go to SQL database. I will go to query editor. So we need to log into SQL database. So I successfully connected to SQL database. So I will go to tables. We have a lot of tables available. So we will copy data from customer address table to Azure Blob Storage. So I will check what uh, I will check what kind of data we have in customer address. We have customer ID, address ID, address type, row ID, and modified date. Let's check the count in this table. So we have 417 records in the customer address table. So we will copy all these 417 records to block storage. So we will create a data factory data flow. So I will go back to resource group. I will open data factory and click on author and monitor. So I'm in the Azure data factory overview page. So I will choose create data flow. So once we are in the data flow page, so click on pipelines so before we before we create any data flows we make sure we turn on data flow debug so let's turn on this data flow debug so getting the cluster ready it takes about five to seven minutes for the cluster ready and now i will go to pipelines i will select new pipeline so under the pipeline, we see activities. So go to move and transform and select data flow and drag it here and create new data flow. Choose mapping data flow. So now I will go to this data flow, click on data flow. Now we need to add source. So our source, I will keep the stream name source one and then source type data set. And I will create a new source connection, click on new and select Azure, select Azure SQL database and click on linked service, click on new and just enter description SQL to block. Select the subscription ID and server name. Select the database name, SQL database one. And authentication type, SQL authentication. And enter the credentials. And test connection. Connection successful, let's create this linked service. 
so now the linked service is connected so we need to choose the table so we have multiple tables available so we are copying data from customer address table so select customer address table click on ok so we successfully created source connection now let's go to data flow and click on this plus sign in the search just type sync so destination sync so we complete our data flow with sync to land our results in a destination so let's give output stream name sync one and sync type data set and data set click new and select azure azure blob storage so we need to choose the format type of data let's select delimited text csv file continue and create linked service click on new equal to blob description select the azure subscription keep it everything default connect via integration time auto resolve integration runtime authentication method account key and select the azure subscription select the storage account where we are copying data into test the connection the connection successful let's create this linked service so once we create a linked service so we need to choose the file path so click on the file path and select the container so here we're selecting container one click on ok so now we successfully established source and sync connections so let's go back to pipeline let's validate so our pipeline validation output so our pipeline has been validated no errors found so and here we see that cluster is ready so now let's close this validation output now let's click on debug deploying pipelines to debug environment it takes few minutes one to two minutes let's wait So here we can see that pipeline is running. So our data flow is running. So here it is in debug mode. So here we can see the status, status in progress. So it takes few minutes. Once the debug is completed, then we can publish this pipeline and run the, the data flow. Now the debug is completed. So now let's publish this data flow. Now let me publish again. I think I closed that data flow one. So now we are publishing pipeline one and data sets and data flow. Let's publish this. And here we can see that deploying changes to the factory. So we successfully published and let's click on add trigger and trigger now. So trigger pipeline now using last published configuration, click on OK. So we can see that our data flow is running. So once the pipeline is running, so we can monitor this activity using monitor option. Go to the monitor options on the left, click on monitor and click on the pipeline. So here we can see the activity. 
so source one rows time and then sync one rows and time so it is still in progress so we can see our data flow here takes few minutes for the activity complete so let's go back to storage account i will go to containers and container one so let's refresh this so here we can see the data block block and download this file and open this csv file so here we can see the data the customer id the location and the row id and the modified date so i think we didn't select the first row as a header so when we are uh, creating a sync connection so we need to choose first row as a header so we miss that step so if we select that option, so here we can see that customer ID, address ID, and then address location, row ID, and then date. So we successfully copied data from SQL to Azure block. So we created data flow and then published that data flow and then ran that data flow. So I will go back to data factory. And then I will go to monitor. So here we can see that our pipeline. And let's click on this pipeline. So we have data is ready, but here is still showing the progress. It is still in progress. So it takes few minutes that we can see the complete activity, how many rows copied and how many rows written into the destination. And let's refresh this activity and click on data flow details. Okay, so here we can see that source 417 rows and then time, al time allocated 13 seconds, 940 milliseconds and then sync one 417 rows. So let's check that the data file. So here we can see the complete data for 17 rows that written into Azure Blob Storage. So I will go back to storage account. And I will go to container. So here we can just refresh it. So we have all the data available so i will just cancel the pipeline so this is how we can copy the data from sql database to azure blob storage so this is how we can create data flows in azure data factory if you have any questions on this creating azure data factory data flow please post in the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you